Right. How can I help you today? Well, I've just got flu. Oh dear. But I've got sore throat, earache, my face is sore here. Yeah. It's not so much the sore throat, but it's the choking sensation I get. Yeah. So, and I've had a turn as well. You've had a turn? Yeah, yesterday. What does that mean? Uh, epileptic. Oh, I see. Okay. Do you normally get fits, or is this the first fit you had in a very long time? First, a uh, long time. Okay, all right. So I was wondering if I've got maybe a bit of temperature or something. Yeah. It's maybe triggered it. Or yeah. Like. When was the last fit you had prior to the one from yesterday? Uh, the full blown. I have the grand bell and I have mm. the absences as well. Mm. Mm. The absences are more frequent. So was yesterday's an absence or was it a grand mal? Grand mal. A grand mal. Epilepsy is a neurological condition and it can affect uh, a person's ability to control how their body behaves. Epilepsy can be split into two broad categories. One type of seizure is called grand mal. That's what most people are aware of when they think of epilepsy, where both your arms and legs are shaking and moving and you're not fully aware of what you're doing. And then the other broad group is your petty mal seizures, um, and they are then split into sort of subcategories. So a common one is what we call absence seizures. So they're quite interesting in the sense that a person could be talking to you and then suddenly they look like they are daydreaming. There's no seizure, there's no sort of fitting and then they are back, back to uh, reality, back to being orientated and they kind of forgotten what's happened in the last two or three minutes. Are you still under a specialist for your epilepsy? Yes. Okay. Have you got a follow-up appointment to see them soon? Uh, I've not long had uh, an MRI scan. I'm assuming they, they've got an appointment to see you to discuss the scan. Yeah. OK, well, that's good then. But take your jacket off. Very good. OK, if you just stand up for us, let's have a, a look at you. I'll just check your temperature. Okay. Just say, ah, for me. <gasps> that's fine, just wait there for me. Just check your ears. Good, let's check that side. You okay? Yeah, uh, just yeah. Grab a seat, grab a seat. Yeah, yeah, pop your finger in there. Yeah, just lean forward. Deep breath in and out through the mouth for me, please. Very good, that's fine. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so examination wise, you're actually examining okay. Your throat is a little bit on the red side. Uh, but is not infected with tonsillitis. I think it's more viral yeah. that you've got, which is probably where your symptoms are coming from. And unfortunately, it's something which is going around yeah. in the community at the moment. Yeah, because I work at school as well. Oh, this time of year, slightly dangerous off occupation <laughs> to be surrounded by lots of children. Yes. Yeah. What kind of work do you do in the school? I work in school kitchens. I'm a bit restricted to what I can do, but, you know, I don't do any of the hot food or anything. Having epilepsy can affect somebody's job prospects. You ought to declare if you have epilepsy with active seizures, especially if you're operating machinery or if it involves driving, um, just because um, it could be a risk, you know, to your own personal safety or to the safety of other people. But you, we have patients who have had um, epilepsy who are on treatment, who are very well controlled and not had a fit for a, a long period of time who do hold down, you know, jobs like everybody else does and can get on with their sort of day-to-day -day life. So if you get a self-certification form from reception, you can sign yourself off from work for the first five days. Thank there you, you Marla, please. No Thank problem. Nice to me. see you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. There you go. Bye. Bye. Nice? Yeah. Well, why don't you let me cook your steak in the pie? Because I've got the same, I've got them little... They are, they're the pocket pies. Well, why don't you have something else then? How about if I get you a three in one? I don't understand why you want a chip shop. I'll ask Dad to get you them, because he's got to go to the off-license. What is it, pie and chips you want? Oh, OK. OK, bye, 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 bye. The pain starts here and goes down to my elbow. Yeah. Um, so... As Dr. Cooper said, you know, it hurts when I put my arm up in the air. He said, the doctor says, well, don't put your arm in the air, you know. So I don't walk quickly. Let's say going up the stairs. No, no I'll go upstairs that slowly. It's when I'm walking quickly. Then, then you get it. Okay. Then I get this sort of 
pain on the arm, which makes me say, hey, you're going too far, sunshine, you know. It's, um... So we've got to look at the burden on the heart. Richard is the sort of person who will always ask a very direct question. And so I'm sure he asked the heart surgeon, what's the warranty on this? And the surgeon would have said, oh, 15 years. And that would have been ingrained in Richard's mind. There isn't a warranty on bypass surgery. Most of us know, and this is the same with other operations, if you live long enough, um, things may go wrong again. Let's do your blood pressure. Right. Those, those look good. And the weight? <laughs> the, the, the weight is... The, I, I'm not one to speak about this, because actually I could, I could do a lot I better. I like it, love. <laughs> <laughs> so I could do a lot better as well. So I think we could both do something on that, couldn't we? How's yeah. that? <laughs> it's a bit high today. Well, if you're a Birmingham City supporter and a Warwickshire County Cricket Club supporter, <laughs> what else do you expect? I'd like you to stop thinking about them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. It's still high today. So it's 100, um, 188 over 90. It's never, the, ever been that high at home. No, which is, which is what, it may be my machine. But so it's worth you bringing your machine in at some stage. We'll do it. We'll do a comparison. You're not on a lot of medication for this, so we could increase that. So I want to look at the blood pressure first. Okay. I'll organise a heart tracing for you, just so I've got a good idea where your heart is. Okay. And then you may need to organise a scan of the heart. Right. Which is a, a good way of checking the blood pressure. Okay. okay. I think it's very fair, 15 years. See well, I'm saying, I mean, you, you sorted me out in the first place. And, uh... I know. <laughs> so if I see you, let's say, in two weeks' time... OK. Um, ..I can do all of that. Um, bring a blood pressure machine with you. OK, that sounds good to me. Thank Thanks you very you much, indeed. You're welcome. Good to see you. My name's Kim. I'm one of the paramedics in the surgery. How can I help? Thank you. And you had um, her um, surgery done on okay. last Thursday to remove the tongue time. When we were dismissed, they just said paracetamol, ibuprofen, that is it. By Saturday, she developed infection, like an ulcer, under her tongue with okay. the stitches on. I brought her to pharmacy. They've given her the cream, Ductavin, which we tediously applied, but it's only getting worse. It's not getting worse. She, yeah, and today she's off food and it's spreading a little bit as well. And because she's severely autistic, she cannot communicate how she feels, whether she is in pain, whether okay. she feel, finds it hurtful, painful. Can I pop this in your ear? Yeah. Yeah. And we'll just check, we'll check your temperature. Just need to do your temperature, OK? Pop it in your ear? She usually doesn't do it. You do it? Can I do it? Can Mummy do it? Yeah, Let Mummy do it. Hello, Mum. Look, Annie. Annie, Annie. Is that all right? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. It's OK, Sonushka, that's it. We've just done this. So she's, she's off her food she... because of the pain? I don't know. You don't know. OK, that's me. fine. That's don't worry. worry. Um, is she going to let me look in her mouth? I think she yeah. will, yeah. Annie, could you show your tongue, please? Yeah. Here's your girl. Just a light. <laughs> I've got, I've no, light. I'm not going to touch. Good girl. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Good girl. OK, can I just borrow the gel that you've been popping on? And I shall be back in a second. All right, wait a minute. Thank you. Uh, I've got a 12-year-old, um, severely autistic, non-verbal. She had her tongue tie done last Thursday, and Mum feels it's infected. She has got an ulcer around it. Mum's been using this, uh, which isn't really touching it. Obviously, it's a very difficult assessment. I should have a quick look. A tongue tie usually is quite a simple procedure, really. Hi, how are we doing? Can I have a look? Hi. Open your mouth. Uh, I'm not going to touch. I'm not going to touch. Hi, hi, hi. Huh? Hi. Yeah. That is, you know, the, the, the operation they've done, that looks sore. That doesn't look infected. Okay. And that'll be very painful. It's like, you know, when you get an ulcer in your mouth? Yes. How painful it is. Yes. That's what she's going through. Yeah. So I don't think you need antibiotics or mm -hmm. a dactarian or anything like that. So okay. I wouldn't use that. What I'd put on there is Bongella. OK. Because Bongella is like an anaesthetic. Mm -hmm. It eases the pain. Yeah. Use a straw as well when she's drinking mm -hmm. fluids. Okay. Not cold, not hot. So it's not but infected? It doesn't look infected. That's mm -hmm. just because of the operation. Yeah. So as soon as you cut, you're then becoming... It'll become ulcerated. Yeah. But I'm just concerned that for five days she's been having this yeah. and it's not getting any better. You, you could use the antibiotics, you can use the antifungals, it won't make any difference. It won't make any difference. 
months. For how long shall I keep her? Give it, a, give it a, see what she's like next week, and if it's not no better, bring her down. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doctor. No Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Thank you ever so much for your You're time. Welcome. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. That was worrying. <laughs> thank you. And could bye you say bye. thank you, please? Bye-bye. 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 Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. Jesus. 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 Okay, chips. Okay. chips and chicken. Okay, I got you.